At this point I want to show you how to draw a line in AutoCAD, which is the most use useful command that we will use in our drawing of our floor plan. So to start the line command you go to the Home tab and press on the line icon. Once you do that, uh, AutoCAD is asking you to specify the first point. You see it here in the command line. It could be a set of coordinates X, Y or you can just click anywhere you want. For me I'm just going to click here and I'm going to continue left clicking. Every time you left click you create a new line segment. Uh, as you can see. So once I'm done and I want to exit the line command uh, you can press the spacebar or also the escape key. Now what if I want to continue drawing from the end point of one of these lines? So what you do is I'm gonna press the line command again and I'm gonna try to go here to my end point. On purpose I turn off a feature called object snap Without that feature, when I hover on top of a line or any object in AutoCAD, I don't get those endpoint squares that are very useful. So if this happens to you, just press F3 or also you can go to the quick access toolbar on the bottom, which is going to be the container of all those useful drawing functions. So if I press F3, notice how the square here on the bottom gets blue. That means that object snap has been turned on and when I hover on one of these segments I get, I get all its endpoints. And also um, this what it does is that when I move my mouse close to that endpoint it snaps to it. So I can continue drawing from that exact precise endpoint. If I don't do that 99% chances is that when I click close to the endpoint uh, I may not draw a continuous line. Alright, that being said, uh, you can continue drawing line 9 until you want. And notice also that if I right click while I'm still in the command, I have different options. And uh, that are the same that you can access in different places of AutoCAD. So I'm going to click Escape and I'm going to explain to you other things. Notice that when I hover on top of each of the lines, segments, they get highlighted. So if I left click, they get selected. I can continue selecting any segments that I want and then I can manipulate them. In this example I'm going to press on the delete key and then these segments are deleted. If you make a mistake you can press ctrl Z and that you know undoes or uh, it restores your segments like in any other program. Now if I want to select let's say all of this drawing then you can use something called uh, a green selection uh, and it works this in this way. I'm just going to go to the right because I want to do a selection. So I left click and hold the mouse and you see that if I go here it's blue. Okay, but if I go to the left it's green. So if I click somewhere and go to the left it's green, but if I click and go to the right it's blue. Okay, there is a difference between the two. So the green selector uh, anything that touches or intersects that green selection area will be selected. In the blue one, you have to put everything inside, completely inside that blue selection area in order for those objects to be selected. So I'm going to do an example. I'm going to click here and pull my mouse to the left to call a green selection. So you see that I'm doing this and everything that intersects, including that area, get selected so my whole drawing gets selected. I'm gonna press escape to show you the blue one. So if I go here and I create a blue selection box, it, it, I need to engulf, let's see, if I don't engulf this line completely nothing gets selected. So I'm gonna do it again. And this is the green, so if the green only touches part of this segment of the line it gets selected. But if I do it with the blue one, right, and only a piece touches it doesn't. For the blue one to work Okay, I had to go ahead and click escape and select completely that segment, uh, otherwise it's not going to work. Now it's completely selected and look how it gets highlighted too. And now it gets selected. Now I'm used to select uh, using a square or rectangle that is fixed instead of the lasso tool. As you can see, it takes some practice to, to, to do it with the lasso. It uh, depends on preference. So I want to turn that off, uh, but keep in mind you can always turn it on. So to do that, is type on the command line, pick auto, and that's a command, enter. The default is five, 
but I'm gonna set it to one. I put one enter. Now, when I do a selection uh, box, you see it's a square. And for me, it's kind of easier to select things like that. So if I want a green selector here, I click and go to the left and I select I select everything. Look, look, if I can just, I don't need to select everything. I just need to touch and everything is selected. Now, if I go from the left, this is a blue selector. And for me, sometimes it's easier to do it this way. Notice that if you want, you can always go back uh, and, pre and type five in that pick selection option. Drawing lines by pointing and clicking is good, but we need a way to have precision. So let's say I want to draw a 10 unit line. So for that you press the L and then enter and then I tap click here and let's say I go to this direction and I want a 10 unit line. So now you will just type 10 enter and that will create a 10 unit line. So if I want, want to go south for example and, and type 5 enter that is a half the size unit of the previous line etc 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 so this is the way you do it but notice something and by the way that's called direct distance entry method instead of the rubber band method which is just point and click so the problem now I'm gonna press escape is that I need to have units uh, architectural units I need to have feet and inches instead of just you know decimal points like 5 10 5.5 so for that, you need to set up your drawing for architectural mode. Uh, you do that by clicking on the A, go where it says Drawing Utilities, and then Units. By the way, you can type Units, Enter, and it will bring the same screen. And here, you change the type from Decimal to Architectural, and you press OK. Now you can type feet and inches as your distance um, um, points in your line and any other commands. So if I go here and press L, Enter, and I type here, let's say I want um, uh, one foot so I can press one and the symbol for foot enter and that would be a one foot long line 